Hey guys, we're here back again. This time we are going to be playing a different game here today, as you guys saw in the beginning, called Honkai Impact 3rd. It is by MiHoYo Limited, and this is a sponsored video, so big thank you to them. But regardless, this game is freaking phenomenal. Like, it's basically like you're taking Devil May Cry, the most badass looking anime, you mash them together and you get Honkai Impact 3rd. It is a fast paced action RPG, so there's a lot of elements that really bring this game you know, to the AAA type of status, I feel like, because there's so much customization, the combat feels so fluid and very impactful, no pun intended, Honkai Impact 3rd. But anyways, moving forward, let's go ahead and go into some of the details as far as how you actually progress in the story and some of the cool stuff you can do as far as character customization and whatnot. All right, so let's go ahead and go into it. All right, so as you can see, this is a mission-based system. You go from mission to mission, you progress to the story, all the while you unlock a plethora of loot items that enhance your equipments or your Valkyrie. You get fragments where you collect enough of them, you can unlock skins for your characters. You get weapons such as guns or swords. Uh, you also get resources like coins and crystals, crystals being the more premium resource, but you can also get them by doing the achievements in the missions. So you can see there, mission 1-7, I have three gold medals underneath that. That means I actually did all three achievements and I got the maximum crystals for that. I love that they have that system in place because basically Mahoyo Limited is giving back to the players who simply invest time into the game. I love to see companies that actually have that kind of support for their players. So big thumbs up for that. But anyways, let's go ahead and go back. I want to check out the Valkyries here for you guys. So we have, we start off with Kaslana Kiana. She's a dual wielding pistol character. You eventually unlock Mei Raiden, Bra or Zaychik Branya, and then eventually you get, I'm gonna butcher this name, I'm sorry, uh, Himiko Murata, uh, which is a creature type melee character, which I haven't unlocked yet, so I'm excited to actually get her eventually. Uh, each character also has their accompanying skin, so you can see here, uh, Himiko has Scarlet Fusion, Battlestorm, and Blood Rose, and those are obtained by doing certain things, which you can see here it says obtain. You get the um, fragments there for Blood Rose. This one right here, you have to actually do hard difficulty storyline 3.5, and you do hard difficulty storyline 3.12, so on and so forth. You meet those requirements, you get the skin. So it's really awesome to see that you can also change the aesthetic look of your character. All right, so moving back. All right, going into equipment, we do have the short and sweet version for you guys here today. We do have weapons and we have stigmata. So we have weapons which are just that. They're weapons you take into combat with you and you fight with them. When you do find weapons, you get a random element type as well as a random weapon skill and combined it can give you some pretty unique abilities. So for instance, this one right here is weapon skill Frost Shock, which shoots scattered ice bullets, freezing enemies within range for 2.79 seconds. And pretty much the amount of discoverability because of this is just immense and it's pretty awesome because that means the amount of customization for your character is even more awesome and that's really awesome to see that weapons that just alone can really mold your character how you want to in a particular fashion. For instance, this one right here, I can kind of make my character into more of a harder CC type of character or if I want to go the other route, I can go to these weapons that I have currently equipped and go with the weapon skill that just increases my base damage by 30%. Uh, you know, it's, it's really cool to see the amount of individuality in this game because of just weapons alone. You can enhance and upgrade weapons which basically increase the base stats or the rarity. Uh, going back, we do have the Stigmata now. Stigmata are basically like the accessories of this game. You have your weapons and then you have your accessories. Stigmata, they generally only provide the passive effects, which you can see here is increases physical damage and charge attacks by 5% for this particular card. Or if I can go over here, I do have another card that increases my max HP by 8% and also can have some set skills if you have the full set equipped. Now, speaking of equipping these stigmatas, there is a load capacity. So each weapon you have equipped does give you a specific amount of load. So this gun right here gives me a load of 9, whereas this sword only gives me a load of 6. So what that means is whenever you equip a weapon, you can equip stigmata to your character based on the amount of load your weapon has. So if I equip the guns, I have a load of nine. I can only combine up to three cards, but also a max of only nine load. So if I use, for instance, this card right here, that's already using six of my nine loads. So I can only pick two other cards that equal three more load to reach that max capacity. Otherwise, I'm stuck with this maybe using only two or maybe just the one if I can't have a card that has three load on it. So there is some sort of 
fine tuning you have to do as far as how you build your character. And that's really awesome to see the amount of progression you have too. You can also enhance these cards and upgrade them as well. Uh, all right, so moving back, we do have uh, the supply. Finally, this is the last thing we're gonna cover right here. So if you want to go ahead and spend some of your resources, you can right here. Whether you're spending your coins or your crystals, you can go ahead and go into like supplies uh, or use some of the cards that you get that you, you know, from logging in or whatever it may be, or your crystals and get some S grade Valkyries. Or, you know, if you want, you can, you know, slowly build up your crystals as you do your achievements and then go for the, the A rank plus, you know, guarantee of the Valkyrie there for the supply crates. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the one I have for free here. So I have two of them. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and get something really pretty cool here. Alrighty, what are we gonna get? Whoop. Okay, we get a fragment and we get advanced creature chip. All right, so the fragment's pretty cool. We got times five too. So if we get five more, I think we can actually get that moonbeam skin. I think it was what it's called. Let's go and do one more. All right, here we go. I love the animation too for this. It looks so cool. All right, what do we get? Ooh, we got uh, a stigmata rare, Attila, and then we have Araloy spark plug. All right, so it's another item that we probably use to upgrade our weapons or our stigmata there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I do want to check real quick if I ended up. Oh, we also can spend friendship points too to get some items here. So I want to go ahead and spend. Uh, we'll do this one. Sure. We're going to do that real quick. Let's see what we get. We get Soul Shard. We got uh, another Fragment Sweets for Crimson Impulse. That's awesome. Oh, uh, uh, we didn't see the last one. Oh, and we got another Tokiwa Shard, which is another one to use to upgrade, I believe. Yeah, to upgrade your equipment. Uh, going back, I want to see how close I am actually to getting that skin, the Moonbeam. Uh, this one right here, is it? Yeah, I think so. So I don't have enough. It's I think you need to collect. Oh, you need to click 80 and I have five. Okay, so we're definitely a little ways away, but that's fine. We're slowly working towards it. That's freaking awesome. It is aesthetic only. It doesn't provide you anything more than just the aesthetic look. So it's not like it's holding you back or anything. So let's go back. Let's check out the uh, the character real quick. We got to get every little bit of experience and then we should be good. So let's go ahead and just do some upgrades here. You're a little stronger. She's level 14 now. Hell yeah. All right, so we can go ahead and do some skills. Special attack. Unlock. Level up. Sure. Uh, we'll do this one too. All right. So that one's done. Uh, we also have the... What is the passive anyways? So increases critical damage of cannon type weapon basics uh, and charge attacks by 20%. That's kind of cool. Can't quite level them up yet. We knew we do need to get to um, a higher level and get some of the unlocks there. I'm going to level this up real quick. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I kind of just wanted to try her special attack. So let's go ahead and go into a fight here. Do we have any other weapons? No, we only have the one. Okay. So here we go. So going into another mission here. All right, here we go. Battle preparations start. All right, here we are. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. No, 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 no. Okay, dodge. I'll try to dodge that one. These chicks are fast, man. Oh, dodge. Yeah, take my shot. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. You just hold it. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Dude, I thought for a minute there she was like, eh, she's alright, but... Oh, okay, so once she's using the void, you want to switch characters. Got it. Look at that, man. That's <laughs> so cool. Hold him there! Alright, we're doing ultimate too. we do the other one too? Yeah, she has an ultimate as well! Woo! Doing some mad damage in. See, this is a lot better. 
Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, dodge. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. There we go, dude. Okay. I love the new character. She's really cool. You just spam. You just hold that button and you just beam him to death. You build up your ultimate, you lock him in with the void explosion, and then you switch characters and start wreaking havoc. It's really cool. All right, so there we go. Not too shabby. All right, so what did we get? All right, so we got a bunch of equipment. We do get a fragment for the Hana, which is a, um, a stigmata, I believe. All right, so there we go. GG. Uh, we'll go ahead and do one more. We have this special one, it looks like. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do in this fight. We're getting more refined. <laughs> For sure. Dodge, nice. Oh, God. 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 Dude, she wrecks. You don't even use the, you use the other characters. Just spam the heck out of it. Oh, okay. She, she has an ultimate now, so we can go ahead and do this. Oh, we gotta dodge. We gotta dodge. We gotta dodge. We gotta dodge. Okay. Good, good, good. These guys have these charge abilities where, like, if you... If, even if you dodge it and go back in, you'll be hit by it. And it, it sucks. There we go. Alright. Oh, I wanted to use her, actually. Fire, fire. Boom, 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 boom. Fire. Okay, so she she's a little harder to actually aim though, because she has to actually kind of line up her shot with the target there. So she does have a limit of how much she can actually just spam that charge ability. So there is obviously some kind of drawback there, which is good. Yo, we got ulties. Bam! Yeah, buddy. We'll use the ultimate and then switch out. Use her ultimate. Boom! Boom! <laughs> this game's so freaking fun, man. I love how flashy and fluid it feels. It's really, it really reminds me of Double Maker. It is awesome. Starburst stream. We got a bunch of crystals too, so that's good. All right. Here's some more experience and friendship points. Uh, so we got a stigmata there, uh, and a couple other items there. Pretty awesome. Sweet, so we got that one. So you can see there, occasionally you do get the the missions where you can get a couple extra crystals there, which is really cool. Uh, another way to kind of earn crystals over time. Uh, so I can probably go back and actually get some more crystals if I wanted to. Uh, so that's, that's pretty awesome. Let's try it out real quick, actually. I want to see if that actually is how it works. I don't want to mislead you guys here. But this game, this game is free, so you guys can check it out in the App Store or Google Play. It is free to play. It is freaking awesome. I really enjoy it. If you guys do end up playing, definitely send me a request. Um, I'll see if I can find my account in here in a second. These, these ones give me a hard time. Like, they are really fast. So I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't think so. Jesus! Oh! That's so cool. Oh, nope, sorry. There is the ulti. We're coming in. We are coming in. Switch. Oh, wait. They're already gone. Okay, cool. 
Whoa. Nope. Oh, Jesus. Is that ultimate? Nice. Give an ultimate too. Shreds him. We gotta finish off with her. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, stay put. Stay put. <laughs> Dude, that new character is so good. Having a control type character is just amazing. I, I can't wait to get some weapons for her to really build into that aspect of her kit. Alright, so we already got the achievements, so obviously we're not going to get crystals there. But let's see if we're actually going to get the crystals for completing the mission. Because if we can, that's freaking awesome. Yes, we can! Sweet! Alright, so there we go. I'm going to confirm that. Alright, so we got that one. And I'm assuming occasionally they pop up and you just want to go ahead and do that. So I'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that because that's extra crystals, man. That's freaking awesome. But uh, there we go. So I, I haven't actually... Uh, I think I had, I don't have, oh, I missed one, yeah, okay, so I haven't, haven't actually missed any of the achievements, but I actually did miss one right there, two, so I have to go back and get those as well, we'll get those achievements for 115 and 120 and then 116, so get those achievements, get my crystals, oh, and 124, oh, 124, of course, because I haven't even done it yet, but there you go, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay, uh, and, you know, definitely check it out in the Google Play or App Store, it's completely free, it is freaking awesome. Again, it's like taking Devil May Cry and the most badass anime. You mash them together and you get Honkai Impact Third by Mahoyo Limited. Again, this is a sponsored video, but regardless, I know you guys will definitely love this game as I do. And definitely leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Later!